Full fun watch codes and pipe. Full full fun dunk and pipe. Well guys, here I am again. Um, just in my garage doing my normal thing. And I went down to Batteries Plus and I asked them if they could make me a battery. I needed a 12 volt battery. Needless to say, most 12 volt rechargeable batteries, you know, they've, they've got a bit of size to them. And I asked them if they could make me something, you know, uh, lithium polymer something anything that was small that was 12 volts and the reason I'm looking for a 12 volt rechargeable battery so I can run these LED lights okay matter of fact I'll show you what they look like So, you know, when you buy these, they come with a little battery pack in them. And so you can press the little button, and voila, you can check out the LED lights. And they're nice and bright, okay? But when you hook them up to a 7.2 volt or 7.4 volt battery, you know, they're okay, they're mediocre. And so I asked Batteries Plus if they could make me something in 12 volt. Well, needless to say, I was looking quite a bit. It was going to be pricey anyways. And I didn't know if I wanted to spend upwards of $40 for one 12 volt battery, especially a little one. Problem was, is it didn't have very many milliamps. The smallest one they could make me was 150 milliamp. 12 volt battery and we're talking it would have been pretty small I mean to give you a size it would have been something about like maybe about that height maybe that wide you know maybe it's kind of oval shape anyways pretty small I was like wow that's cool but 150 milliamps not gonna quite do it you know cuz I like a little bit of run time in the dark with LED lights. Um, most of your LED lights that come with trucks or even light kits that you buy, the individual bulbs, they are, most of them are, you know, 6 volt is what they require to operate them to make them run. Some of them I think are 4.5. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I mean, they work. You can hook them up to your uh, main battery and run away and have fun. But like I said, with these uh, LED strips, you know, when you add them to some of your rigs, which I've added them to some of my Red Cats, and I've thought about potentially adding some of these strips to my wife's uh, axial ridge crest uh, sand scorcher body um, to her rig right here. And I wanted to put a few underneath, you know, to kind of illuminate make it look really cool I'm, I'm thinking if I could find some purple ones that will be sweet but I wanted a small battery to operate them so and I want them to be bright so batteries plus came to the challenge and they built me one right there pretty slick little battery so this is in my opinion probably the smallest 12 volt 400 milliamp battery you're going to find on the market. Um, and matter of fact, I've got spec sheets on it and I will let you see that and I'll also put it in the description so that way um, you guys, if you want to go to Batteries Plus and have them make you one of these small ones to operate some of these cool LED lights, they'll do that for you. Um, but to give you some comparison, you know, I've been looking at batteries like this, which are 6 volt, and you hook up two of them. Works pretty slick. It gives me the 12 volt brightness I want. Problem is, you look at the size, I mean, it's like, wow. So, right there. And this is nickel metal. Nickel metal hydrite. So, it'll be real nice to have and run. So, to show you the difference real quick here, 
with I just set me up a little test strip to show you. So a lot of times I'll use some of my LiPo batteries. Um, these are 850 milliamp, 7.4 volt. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how bright this is. Okay. The reason why I'm using blue because blue really shows how much brightness it truly is. The white ones are a lot brighter and same with the red ones. But you can see, it doesn't look very bright at all. It's a fully charged battery. Okay, so that's as bright as it is running uh, 7.4 volt. Which works great for running extra lights that I run on some of my rigs, you know. You've got rock lights set up, your uh, light bar and stuff. Slick, okay. So you can see the brightness with that. The 7.2 volt is a little bit less. I'll show you what this 6 volt looks like just by itself. Huh. Matter of fact, it doesn't even run it. So I need, I definitely have to, when, I, when I'm running this 6 volt, I usually run it in uh, series. So that way I've got 12 volt total. Now, let me show you this new 12 volt. 400 milliamp nickel metal battery that I have Batteries Plus make me. Voila. You can see there's a huge difference on the way that brightness looks. Which, when you're running these on your trucks at night, you want them pretty bright. Makes it fun. They're neat. Again, here I'll go back to the 7.4 volt so you can see. Huge difference. So, and like I said, different colors, it does vary in brightness with the 7.4 volt, but it works. 12 volt. Basically, these are intended for car application. That's why they're 12 volt. But it's a cheap and expensive way to put LED lights on your you know, on your RC trucks or cars, you know, and give you a neat little look, which I'm all about the lights and the cool, the cool wow factor of that. So they built me that battery pack and I'm excited because it's small. I'll throw some Velcro on that so that way I can slap it on my other batteries as I'm driving and have some fun. So I can have them all lit up and looking pretty bright. Um, to give you the specs on that, I've got them right here. <clears throat> so this 12 volt battery is a, it's got 10 cells, okay. Um, there are 1.2 volts nickel metal uh, here's the specs so that way if you decide you want to go to batteries plus and have them build you this they will so I managed to talk them down to 25 bucks for that battery it probably varies from batteries plus to batteries plus but I'm sure you can get one of these for under 30 bucks easily it's $25 and then plus tax, so just a hair under $27. Here, let's bring that in just a little closer for you. That way you can look at that. If you're writing down information, feel free to write it down. Like I said, I'll have it in the description so you can copy it real easy and take it with you. Okay. So, I'm excited. I can't wait to get this in some of my other rigs. Matter of fact, I've got one handy. I'll show you real quick with my Red Cat, which usually my children are running this when we're out on the trail. And I want them to have plenty of lights. So you can see it's a huge difference the way it lights that rig up. So, and then plus my kind of light illumination for underneath for 
watching the rocks down low. But it's definitely, it works, and it's pretty cool. I'm definitely excited. Here, I'll show you real quick with the 7.4 volt and what that looks like. See? Huge difference. So, it works. Like I said, there's your white lights, which at night, it works. It looks all right. But to me, I like that bling factor. That's what makes this cool. So, if that doesn't say it, I don't know what does. But anyways... In my opinion, that's probably the smallest 12 volt, 400 milliamp battery you're going to find. And if you go to Batteries Plus, you can definitely get one, probably around about 25 bucks. So you just got to talk to them, tell them, hey, you saw a video on YouTube someone made, and he said you guys could build me one for 25 bucks. So. Hopefully most of the stores, they will go ahead and do that for you. That would be way cool. Um, and it will definitely make me want to keep going back and having them build other batteries for me. So I might actually, I talked about, I talked with them about maybe having me, having them build me a, a 7.2 volt. I can run some of these other lights with. And at this size, I mean, we're talking, it would be... I think it's I think he was saying something like six cells I think six or seven cells anyways not thinking real quick off the top of my head but it'd definitely be smaller and he told me he could do it for about 15 bucks for the 7.2 so to run lights to have 400 milliamp I mean to run these LED lights it'll go easily a couple hours at night uh, and I've never had any problem like I said I've run the 7.4 volt and it'll stay that constant brightness for easily three to four hours easily before you even start to notice it getting a little bit dim. So there you have it. The smallest 12 volt battery at 400 milliamps. So uh, make sure to stop by Batteries Plus and see if you've got a local one you might. Um, and have them build you one of those batteries. Like I said, I'll put the specs on the description so that way you can take that with you and have the item number and that helps that way they know what battery it actually is and and they can build that for you so again thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to codes empire